Hi guys. Thank you so much for calling in for our weekly Dreamers in Action team call. Um, it's so fun to see some of you. I know the last couple weeks when I was in Mexico and then I was at a networking event last night or last week, um, I missed you guys. And so um, anyways, I'm excited to be here. I'm excited to actually be doing the training tonight. I know Laura did an amazing, amazing job the week before and uh, Rachel did an amazing job two weeks ago. And I just love that there's so many brilliant people that you guys can be learning from as we're all growing and working towards our goals together. So um, before we get into the heart of the call, I just wanted to um, say thanks to all the volunteers that helped make Super Saturday possible here and our Make-A-Wish um, with Cycle Bar. I know all of you cannot be here with our local team, but it really could not happen without everybody. Um, and Cycle Bar, I think we raised just about $700 for Make-A-Wish, which is fun, and we're going to be doing more of those. And then Super Saturday, I mean, just the feedback has been awesome and awesome and awesome. So we're going to get into um, the call with starting with some success stories and a little product testimonial. But I would love if all of you could just help me out with one thing. And in the event or the post that I just put in Dreamers in Action, if you all could tag two or three of your accountability partners or teammates. Um, I think this is a great call and I was fortunate enough to really spend some time with corporate and then go through my tree and my business and um, the team's business and I realize where retention is and who has good retention and who doesn't and I think that this is a topic for everybody. So if you feel like you have a more of an inactive list than an active list, um, or your team has that, I would suggest texting them or calling them and encouraging them to hop on because we know real time is better than recorded time and we all just don't do so well with recorded podcasts. So um, the first person that I would love to just introduce right now is my sister and she's busy right now so she can't turn her video on but she is still going to um, educate us and teach us a little bit about our spotted product spotlight fiber pro so rach can you teach us a little bit about that and you guys in the meantime tag your team and get them to hop on this call i can can you hear me okay yes absolutely yes Awesome, awesome. Okay, so the Spotlight product of the week is our Fiber Pro. And I'm sure most of you guys hear this, but if you don't know, most Americans do not get enough fiber. And even those of us on Isogenics, even with two shakes a day, we're still coming in at just the 16 grams of fiber, where the recommendation is 25 for women and up to 38 for men. So unless you're getting fiber from other sources, the likelihood of you still lacking is going to be high. And so having fiber pro that you can add to your shakes or even just mixing in with water throughout the day it's a you know very clean easy to mix tasteless um, supplement people do it with the bedtime belly buster at night but it's a great 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 way to increase your fiber and get all kinds of really excellent sources of fiber, both the soluble and the insoluble types, which we need to help us feel fuller longer, to help with digestion, to reduce constipation and just promote regularity. So with every scoop of the Fiber Pro, you're going to get five additional grams of fiber to help you meet those needs. And just remember, anytime you change your diet and something with fiber especially, it can take a little while for the digestive system to um, get used to it. So just make sure to build up gradually, make sure you're drinking plenty of water, um, and just do it slowly over time. But enjoy and check it out. Awesome. You guys, and I'll tell you, um, one of the things I love about the Fiber Pro too, in addition to what Rach said with the shakes so or the bedtime belly buster, is actually baking with it. So if you're someone who makes protein pancakes or um, like a protein bread or something like that, that's a great way to, to also add it because um, it will keep you fuller without adding calories. So I literally just made um, homemade gluten-free banana bread and the Fiber Pro went right in that. So, um, and it's like not as gritty and mealy as sometimes when you add chia seed or flax seed. So thank you, Rachel. Um, Laura, who is showing up as Lauren on um, tonight's Zoom call, but um, if you could hop out, and I know that so many of us know you as such a successful business builder, but it really started with a product transformation. And if you could share with the team tonight really what happened before Isogenics and with your first 30 days, we would love to hear from you tonight. Thank you, Lauren. And I'm sorry, guys, I'm not feeling super great tonight. So I apologize. And if I start sneezing, um, my apologies. But I am so excited. I'm always, always excited to share my product story. 
um, in the journey that I've been on with my health. So three and a half years ago, I was incredibly, incredibly stressed out. I was bloated and puffy and I felt miserable. And even if I slept seven hours at night, I would wake up in the morning absolutely exhausted. I would drag myself through my days. And I was already gluten-free, I was already dairy-free, I was already eating a really clean, organic diet, predominantly paleo-driven. And um, so I was doing all the right things. I knew I was doing all the right things, but I felt awful. I didn't even care about the weight. I just really wanted my energy back. I wanted my mental clarity back. I tried a variety of things, nothing worked. And by chance, I got a phone call one afternoon from my recruiter who worked for me. And she said, hey, have you ever heard of Isogenics? And I said, no. And she said, would you take a look at it? I'm thinking about trying their cleanse. So I went online, I started researching the products that night um, so I could give her an answer fully expecting I would tell her that the stuff was junk. And um, I was so impressed with the quality of the products, I actually tried to order the cleansing system myself that night online, and I couldn't. So um, with the help of Lauren Sims, I got my products ordered the very next day. And um, I will never forget day seven waking up out of bed and feeling this incredible shift in my energy. I felt well rested for the first time in years. My mental clarity was back. I felt incredible, incredible. I wound up losing 25 pounds, 38 and a half inches that I've never seen again. I feel fantastic. My energy levels are still um, three and a half years later through the roof. So absolutely love our products. It's been an incredible, incredible transformation for me physically. Thanks, Lauren. Awesome. Thank you. And I don't know what's happening in the background there. It sounds like someone's like sawing a tree behind you. I'm having computer problems. I think you're hearing the hum of my computer. I'm so sorry. Oh, I was like, what is happening? I was trying to figure out who wasn't muted and realized that it was you. Jen says it's an alien. It's the ice alien. He also wants some shakes living out of your computer. Okay. And then last but not least, um, Chris Marshall, if you could pop out, I think you have such a successful business story, especially coming from other companies. And it just inspires us a lot all the time. Sure. Can you guys hear me? We can. Awesome. Hey, thank you for inviting me to share. So I think I've shared on this call before that Isogenics is my 10th network marketing company. Um, and so I tell people I had to stop with Isogenics because I don't have any more fingers. But um, <clears throat> what's really amazing is to make a success in, in this industry, you have to have a great product, which we have, and you have to have a great business opportunity, comp plan, support, all that stuff, which we have on our team with Lauren and Laura and everybody. So I just ran my numbers before the call. Um, I have another business that's doing pretty well, but it's not residual. So I'm, I'm sort of a slave to my keyboard. And if I want to earn, I have to go work. Um, <clears throat> in this business, I have made money while I was sitting on a sailboat on the Nile River. Um, one of my favorites is when I get home and my wife says, because she's an associate as well, she says, we just made $160 in my account. So well, go buy some clothes or something. So real residual income is when you don't see it coming and it comes anyway, as opposed to I go out and work on your computer for an hour and I know that if I want another X, I gotta work on your computer for another hour, like there's no shortcut. <clears throat> so I just looked at my stuff and since July of last year, I've made $10,500 in my very, very part-time job with Isogenics. Um, your results may vary. You may make a lot more. I'm kind of a little shot, but I keep shooting. And I just wanted to say this is so exciting because the residual thing is picking up speed. We're, we're pulling in about $1,100, $1,200 a month as a, just a little part-time gig. And <clears throat> my wife and I are on a path to pay off some debt and to get some things taken care of as quickly as we can. Um, and you know, when your ISA money comes in and you can pay your car insurance, you can pay your electric bill, you can pay your cell phone, you can go out and get groceries or whatever else you need, and you don't have to tap into your main budget, man, it is so powerful. So I am not here to take up the whole call, but I wanted to share that. I'm more than slightly excited about this opportunity, and I know that it's amazing for everyone on this call. Thank you so much. Awesome. Thank you, Chris. Um, so you guys, just a couple other things before I really get into the heart of the call. 
we're going into the holiday season and so often I feel like this is the time people kind of shut down and they start to take their foot off the gas because they're like, oh, everybody's traveling or they have expenses over the holidays or no one's going to want to do a 30 day system around Thanksgiving and Christmas. And I just want to tell you that that's not true. I was a top enroller in um, the company in 2014, 2015, and 2016 in December because I get into massive action. You know, I think people want to look and feel their best around the holidays at New Year's parties. People don't want to gain weight over the holidays. They want to um, have a jump start on New Year's resolutions, whatever it may be. And just think that we have so much to offer people outside of weight loss. And this is a great time to talk to people about how our shakes boost your immune system or how the Ionics helps with stress or the convenience when they have long days and shopping or whatever it may be. And so just stay in momentum and think about the goals you set at the beginning of the year, the goals you set at celebration. And I really, really, really um, just want to encourage you um, to make sure that you um, just keep your foot on the gas. You stay laser focused on serving people, helping people, you know, blessing lives, paying it forward and um, not let the excuses creep up. So tonight you guys, um, I sat down with Martha and Cal when they were here and we went through some of my team leaders, we went through my business, you know, and just tried to figure out um, how we can increase basket order as a team, how we can increase auto ships and, um, also retention. And so that was really kind of the focus of tonight's call. And that's also why we're going to partner together and run that contest. So hopefully you guys saw it get posted in our dreamers in action page, but basically November, we want to focus on just new customers, just constantly bringing in new people to the tree. But then in December, we're going to focus on retention by getting people into Isobody and also by making sure they're on auto ship and also by getting them paid and rank advancing them. And so corporate's gonna track that contest for us, but um, just know that there's gonna be nine people that are gonna be invited to dinner with me, Martha, Cal, and then a surprise guest from the executive leadership team. We don't know if that's a Travis or a Coover or who yet, but um, I will know soon and keep that a surprise from you guys. But Melanie and Jen and Laura and Ashley and some people have had the chance to be around our ELT. And that's life changing. So I want you guys to really work hard for that. And starting November, just go, 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 you know, top three enrollments. And then in December, we really want to focus on keeping our customers happy, getting our customers paid and getting them into Isobody. So um, in no particular order, you guys, this is my little note that <laughs> it's like, I want to make sure I cover tonight. And if you guys have questions at the end, you know, I'll stick around and um, answer them for you. But one of the things that they started out by saying to me is that I have one of the highest percentages in the company of getting people started on auto ship. And I started laughing. I said, I get everybody on auto ship. Like, why would I not? Like, I literally have never enrolled somebody without being on auto ship. And I want you guys to kind of understand the importance of this. So for you as a business builder, if you enroll two 30 days, not on auto ship, you don't get double pips. Like part of that double PIB bonus, part of your compensation from the company is putting them on auto ship because it's getting the customer the best deal and they know that it is going to be higher retention in your business. So I remember Janie telling me in the very beginning, auto ship is the glue that keeps your business together. And it's true because sometimes people get things that they forgot were going to come a lot of people are not going to send it back or go through that hassle. That doesn't mean sign them up and not explain things to them, but it really is in just setting that expectation and that standard that they are going to be on auto ship because this is a lifestyle program. You guys, we're not selling a 30 day system. We might sell a 30 day reset, a 30 day jump start into a long-term lifestyle program. But in that initial conversation, I'm using verbiage like this is what we're going to do the first month, but then sequential months might look different. We're going to be in touch to figure out your goals to see if maybe you want to mature into the performance line, or maybe you want to reduce how many shakes you're doing a day and start to incorporate the bars, right? Maybe you want to do less shakes and you want to have some of our healthy snacking items. We'll talk about what you want to order next month, but it's having a forward thinking conversation. It's setting up an expectation 
that on day 31, they're not done with isogenics just because they complete one of their first 30 day systems. So when I am setting people up on auto ship, in addition to the forward thinking, I say things like, hey, just so you know, right now, I'm gonna sign you up on auto ship because that's the only way that you um, are gonna be eligible for any discounts or promotions or specials the company has, but it also is getting you the best discount. This is the way I can get you 25% off the retail price. However, you're not committed to something every single month. It's not gonna automatically draft your card and $500 worth of product be sent to you every month without you having autonomy in it. And that's people's biggest fears, is they've had something where they're committed to something and it just kept shipping and shipping and shipping the same thing every month and that's what people fear so it's our job to just really educate them through the buying experience and say i'm signing you up because i want you to be eligible for all specials and promotions but you are not obligated to a certain pack or system or product every single month or a minimum in the welcome email i send you as soon as we get off this call there's directions on how to change it, how to edit it, how to push it out, but I'm gonna be working so closely with you over the next few weeks, we don't have to worry about it. We're gonna to together figure out what basket, um, you know, shopping basket we wanna to put together based on your goals after you finish the reset, right? People just need to know how to change it, how to edit it, but make sure you have that conversation because we want to prepare people for the objections by telling them first instead of having to react to it. So if you don't have the conversation and you sign them up on auto ship and all of a sudden they get an email from Isogenics of like, you know, congratulations, you've been signed up with auto ship or they see the um, invoice of what's gonna come out next month, they panic. And then you're already dealing with someone who's defensive and feeling uneasy instead of just pushing them through it. The other thing that I tell you that I want to share with you guys is I put every person, in addition to whatever I put in their auto ship, if I put in the healthy lifestyle pack or the everyday essentials or another 30 day or the performance pack or whatever I put in their cart, I always, always, always add $1 make a wish to the cart for a couple reasons. Number one, I say, hey, I, if you're okay with it, I'd love to add a $1 donation right now to your basket order. We've partnered with Make-A-Wish, and I have a vision of if every single person gave $1 a month, that's $12 a year, I spend that at Starbucks in two days, right? Imagine how many wishes we could grant, and I have a personal goal of my entire team, which is thousands of people all contributing to children's wishes. Is this something you'd like to be a part of? right? I've yet for someone to be like, no, I don't want to give a dollar, right? The second I say, but here is the other thing. If you want to, by chance, push out your auto ship, if you decide next month, you don't want anything to come that this way, the computer still thinks you're technically enrolled on auto ship, that you're always going to get the best price possible, but that way you're not waiting for the auto shipment. And when you place a wholesale order, you're still going to get the best pricing possible. People are always grateful. Remember, they don't know what they don't know, and so it's our job to educate them. So just when you're putting people on auto ship, like it's a standard, right? Like I've literally never signed anybody up without auto ship. Even when they bought one container of shakes in 29 days, <laughs> that's what's coming, is another single container of shakes. Like literally every single person, but be able to explain to them on why, the, like, why that's important and what the value is behind it. And just know that that's literally the glue of keeping your business together. If you're signing up 30 days, right, and there's nothing coming in that car or people don't see it as a lifestyle program, they're going to go inactive as fast as you got them started. Does that make sense so far? Okay. And the other thing is just really make sure you teach people how to do it. I don't adjust people's auto ships. This just happened to me today. Someone was like, hey, I don't like what's in my cart. Can you change it for me? No. No, 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 right? Enroll 30 people in a month and you'll quickly realize why you don't want to do that, right? Even if you enroll two people in a month. And that doesn't mean you don't have good customer service. That means your job is not to babysit, right? Your job is not to handle people's independence accounts. And I say, I'm more than happy to walk you through this. I'm more than happy to show you what to do. But just like I don't log into your Amazon account every time you need something, I'm not going to manage your Isogenics account, right? 
our welcome email explains what to do, or I will hop on the phone with someone the very first time and show them what to do. Or in one of my saved notes, I have directions that I copy and paste it, that I say, log into your back office, here's your login, here's your password, go to uh, you know the orders, edit auto ship, put in what you want, then take out what you don't want. I said the computer is gonna need you to have something in there. So put in whatever you want, remove what you don't want, then save it, right? If they don't want anything at all, I just teach them how to push it out 29 days. But remember, you guys, we want people's auto ships coming out every 29 days and not every 30 days. So when you sign someone up, you can go in and manually change it from every 39 days to 29 days because that way their personal volume, their own shopping volume contributes to the business volume for cycles and they start to bank that. If it's 30 days, it only rolls up, but you don't consume it. If it's every 29 days, not only does it roll up, but you also, as a business builder or product user, start to bank that volume. So I think it's really important that either you set reminders in your calendar or get in the habit of checking your back office. If you go to your personally enrolled details, or like instead of team, view my team, but actually click personally enrolled details, it lists everybody you've ever enrolled in chronological order. Okay, so I go to the very bottom, and this is how I keep track of my team because someone like my sister four years you know, ago, she knows how to manage her auto ship, right? But I go to the bottom and I'm looking at like when, did, when was their join date, when did I enroll them, when's their auto ship date, like paying attention so I can message them. And one of the things that I learned from Melanie Quinlan, right, because a lot of us fear the auto ship. They're like, oh my gosh, if I tell them the auto ship's going to come out, they're going to want to cancel it, they're going to want to push it out, they're not going to want to get charged. But it's a posture thing. And what I learned from her is being really proactive and talking to them because you have a way to bundle the order together to help them save money or be able to make recommendations, right? So one of the things before their auto ship is coming up is saying, hey, I realize that next month's order is about to come up. I would love to personally figure out what's going on that we can bundle things to get you the best savings possible. Plus, one of the things that I think you would love this month to try is blah, 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 blah you know, make the recommendation. And so if you feel like the 30 day was they were taxed out in their very first month, then say, you know what, I know you're only going to be doing one shake a day, or I know you're only going to do a monthly cleanse. Have you considered our sleep support, you know, to help you with recovery? Have you considered our greens? I mean, this is a product my family cannot live without, you know? And I think too, as you're coaching them throughout the month, if you're educating them, like Melanie sends little videos to her team of what her and her family use. I usually send pictures or I send samples. Like after someone does a cleanse day, I send them a day's worth of the Hulk juice. You know, congratulations, here, try this. This is something you might want to have next month. Sometimes I send a bag of whey thins that I'm like, hey, I know um, last week you tried cleansing with the wafers. If you want to ever try the whey thins as an optional cleanse day, here's for next week, right? I mean, drip on them with the products so that by the time auto ship comes up, you're not going, uh, by the way, you should also try this. And they're like, why? Like, what would be the value of that? You know, you've got to be able to introduce them to things as it happens so that when it's coming out and they want to order it, they see value in it. Does that make sense? Okay. So when people are in grace or you see someone go below 100 business volume, who would agree that people panic, right? Like, so I sign up, Heather, she's my customer, and all of a sudden she's under 100 BV and people panic, right? They're like, oh my gosh, I don't know what to say to her. She doesn't have the money. I don't want to beg her. I don't want to reach out to her. Who's, who has experienced that? Be honest, you guys. And if you don't have your videos on, write in the chat that it's been uncomfortable to reach out to them. You guys, that is a story in your head that people can't afford it or they don't like it, okay? People don't know why it's so important to stay active and bank that volume if you don't tell them, okay? when If you didn't see the post in Isogenics Business that I put in our Dreamers group the other day, that girl that had fallen out of consulting got back to consultant that cycled 157 times. I mean, not only is she a six star, but she had an $8,000 paycheck. I can probably assure you in the two years or year that she's been in Isagenics, she has not spent $8,000 worth of product. She's probably spent a thousand, right? I mean, a couple thousand maybe, but because of the team volume and the work that she had done and the way our compensation plan is, it banked, it banked, it banked, it banked. It's keeping those stories on hand and saying, hey, 
I saw this month that you didn't order a hundred business volume. I don't want you to feel pressured to order more, but I really want to educate you about the importance of staying active. I have seen crazy success stories. You know, I have seen crazy um, stories where someone had fallen out of consultant or they got back to it or they didn't want to build the business um, to begin with and now they're building the business that if you always order 100 business volume, right, and explaining to them to the BB how that turns into numbers, why they always want to order it, 99% of the time, someone's like, oh my gosh, thank you for telling me. I'll go in and order another thing of shakes, right? Or they're like, oh, well, I didn't think I needed anything. What do you recommend, right? Or when someone's like, well, I just didn't need anything. You know, we haven't used any of the shakes or ionics. I'm like, I get it. Sometimes we get behind. But what about the skincare? What about more e-shots? Like I use two a day. I'm never on a shortage of e-shots, you know? Like it's being able to introduce things, but it's just educating them. So um, Christina's saying, for anyone to be able to bank volume, you have to personally order 100 business volume every 30 days. So it's not your team. We're talking about you if you're going to bank volume and be able to cycle and benefit from the compensation plan. So one of the things that I heard from Trudy Maple say this weekend, you guys, and I loved it because she's so simple and so duplicative, but she had gotten a young massage therapist started and Anyway, she knew her auto ship was coming out and she messaged Trudy and she said, Hey, I think I need to push out my auto ship right now. I just, you know, I haven't used up all my product and I just don't think I can afford it this month. And Trudy was like, well, what are you going to eat? And that's like all that she said at first, you know? And the girl was like, well, what do you mean? She's like, well, our shakes are less than $3 a meal. And if you're on a budget, I think you should stay on isogenic because I don't know where else you can eat for less than $3 a meal. And the girls stayed on auto ship. Like sometimes it's just that simple. Like I think we get on our heads and we overcomplicate this, but I honestly, like, I can't wait the next time that someone tells me like, I have to put out my auto ship because I can't afford it. And I'm like, well, what are you going to eat? <laughs> right? Like if I really break it down the days I'm eating isogenics and following the program, I for sure save money. Like I can't think of anywhere that I would go out and grab something or even meals that I make at home that are going to be $2 and 85 cents. So just kind of remember that. Um, we talk about getting a customer started the right way. You guys, this is super important. A lot of times we can recruit and recruit and recruit and all of a sudden like when you run out of your warm market or people kind of know what you're doing, you see the value of every single enrollment. But I encourage you guys, be honest. Go into your back office tonight or tomorrow morning if it's too late on the East Coast, okay? Look at your team. Look at the amount of people that are inactive and say, what could I have done differently? What could I have done to better support them? Could I have coached them differently? Could I have added more value? Could I have, you know, given them a different experience? And some people don't like it and some people are going to return it, right? Some people just really wanted a jump start and they wanted to go back to Chicken Wings and Miller Lite, right? That's okay. But there's probably some people that you're like, wow, I didn't ever talk to them about isobody. Wow, I never told them about healthy mind and body. I never told them about how to get their products paid for. I didn't add them to cleansers because I was too afraid to talk to them about Facebook, right? I mean, be realistic. And I would challenge you to not only learn from this with future customers, but also go back to them and just take ownership of that and just say, you know what? In the very beginning, when I got you started, I really didn't know what I was doing, but I think I did you a disservice because I didn't tell you about everything Isogenics has available. You know, or I think I did you a disservice. I didn't get you the best experience possible because I dropped the ball. You know, I didn't coach you. I didn't answer all of your questions. Like sometimes just being authentic and vulnerable and apologetic is enough for people to give it a go. And if you see that someone's a little bit interested or a little bit like, you know what, like, okay, you know, you're right. And maybe I, you know, X, Y, Z, this would be a different experience. Incentivize them. You know, if they hop back on, send them a thing of seasonal shakes, pay for their shipping. Send them a thing of greens. I mean, having a happy customer is so much more valuable than having people with zero BB in your tree, even if we have to thank them monetarily or with additional product. So when you think about getting a customer started the right way, there's a few things that come to mind. 
first of all, the timeline. I mean, we have 90 days, basically. You know, the company average is 90 days of active, and if we don't get them paid or we don't get them a stellar experience, they're gone. So we've got three months, and what can we do in those three months? So the first thing is the Isobody Challenge. If people get into the Isobody Challenge, you guys, not only is their basket orders higher, but usually their retention right? Because it's a 16 week program, not a 30 day program. And by that way, they're in it. They're having the lifestyle. They've experienced a lot of things. So remember to get the $200 from Isobody, you have to order 500 business volume within the 16 weeks. The only way, excuse me, the first order counts is if you enroll in that Isobody challenge the same day. So if I enroll Sherry today, and tomorrow we get her an isobody today's order doesn't count towards that 500 and people need to know that right so one of the things that i've learned from other top leaders is instead of them trying to figure out the back office and them trying to figure out how to upload their pictures and everything the day you enroll them because they're so new is just saying hey send me three pictures front side and back I'm going to time stamp them i'm going to upload them for you because i want you to grab the 200 dollars in free product in a couple months when you have an amazing transformation, right? It's doing it for them. And I remember when I first was working with Melanie and she's like, I drive to people's houses. I bring the newspaper over. And I was like, you do? Like, that's crazy, right? But it works. And think about how much higher her retention is or how high her BB is because she got people in that program, right? So I know we can't drive to all of our cross state, cross country neighbors, but it's very easy to ask them to take three pictures and send them to you and do that work for you. It's worth it. One of my favorite things to do, you guys, is gift healthy mind and body. So that's a $40 investment in your business. We pay free enrollment all the time. You know, we pay shipping all the time, especially if you have someone that has significant weight to lose. If you have someone that has emotional eating issues to say, you know what, we have this amazing, amazing program. And if you don't have a healthy mind, you're not going to have a healthy you know, body. And I know that you just invested almost $600 in your health and wellness you know, system. I personally want to gift you this amazing online program because I think in 45 days, you're going to change habits. You're going to break through you know, deception. You're going to become an incredible um, you know, new person and da-da-da-da-da. Like, explain to them what's going to happen and what that looks like. And say, and because I'm committed to your success, I actually want to reinvest the commissions that I just got from you into you, into this program. Especially if you know if money is tight, you guys. If they go through that program, they're going to order more. They're going to have success on the program. They learn through the program how to start sharing. That remember, if every customer is shared with one or two people, imagine what your organization starts to look like. If you don't think money is an issue and you don't want to pay for it, I mean, still educate with them. But it's our job to tell them what's available and to really aid in their product experience. And I think working really, really closely with your cleansers, the first week, the second week, the third week, finding out when their first cleanse day is, making sure they've got two shakes before, making sure that they don't have anything missing in the box, they understand the different products. I mean, I know sometimes this seems timely for us and not like the best use of our time, but the, here's the deal. You want them to have a good experience. If they don't have a good experience, they don't become a walking billboard. You know, if they don't have a good experience, there's no visible transformation. If they don't have a good experience, there's no retention. So you can decide if you want 150 BV in your business for 30 days with a possible return, or do you want 150 and above business volume for three months, four months, five months, six months, 12 months, 24 months, right? I mean, you really have to start to say, is it worth my time? So you might be busy and go, oh my gosh, I don't have time to send a welcome email. Or, oh my gosh, you know, I don't have time to check in on their cleanse day. But if you knew that instead of making $54 in a cycle once and a $25 PIB once, right? If they ordered every single month and you cycled every single month and they started to refer people and that $54 could turn into $300, $1,000, $2,000, do you think you would find the time? So I'm just asking tough questions because I literally pulled up a lot of people's reports. I know who has the most returns right now. I know who has the highest retention. I know who has the lowest retention. I know who has the highest basket order, who has the lowest basket order. And it's a conversation that I think all of us should be paying attention to for ourselves and for our teams. 
So I remember Travis Garza saying once at my first ICU, no, Melanie, I'm not scaring you. You guys can all look it up. You can look at the accelerator report. I'm just saying, and they did it to me too. I'm looking at my own numbers, you know, like of what year when my retention was highest. Like, no, oh, it is good to know you guys. It really is. It's really good accountability. That accelerator report lays it out. And no, I don't want to scare you. It's so funny. I looked over right as I turned the page of my notes, but it's really good accountability. And I think because that's the only way we get better. You know, if someone like a Trudy Maples and Tanya Kirkpatrick has an average basket order of 250 and the Dreamers and Action Team has an average basket order of 80, why? We don't live in any less of an affluent place. It's not like we don't have the same type of customers, right? It's about the conversation. It's the value. It's the education. You know, it's, I know that they talk about how if they have this wholesale account to reinvest every bit of their shopping needs into their isogenics cart, whether it be the greens, if it be the skincare, if it be the products, if it be the snack bars, the fiber bars, the whatever it is. So you guys, it's not meant to be like, oh, shame on you, but it's for us to say, we can all do better. We all can have better retention. We all can have higher auto ships. We all can have higher, you know, basket orders, but it's just about being aware and not being afraid to have the conversation. So I remember Travis Garza once saying that we have 90 days to get someone paid before we lose them. And if we can get someone to earn $500 in the first 90 days, right, what, um, that we go from basically having like an 84% retention rate to a 95% retention rate, I think is the statistic. But I remember it's like 94, 95% retention if we can get someone to make $500 in the first 90 days. So think about how... Um, Chris, for the accelerator ports under the leadership tab, you have to be paid as executive and you have to be a two star and above to see it. Um, think about all the different ways we can get someone paid. I mean, if they hit crystal manager for sure, $500, but what if we just get them double pibs a couple times? What if we get them double pibs and a consultant bonus, you know, whatever that may be, but I want you to set a goal, set a standard that every time you get someone started, commit to getting them $500 in the first 90 days. And that's when this turns into a show me business and not a tell me business, right? Because I'm not going to enroll Melanie and go, hey, by the way, we're going to make $500 in the first 90 days so that you never not order again, right? Like that sounds a little weird. But when I start asking her, hey, do you know that like no one on my team pays for their products? Like I'm obsessed with getting people on the Eat for Free program and I want to help you get on the Eat for Free program too. She's like, oh, nobody pays for your products? Okay, I don't want to pay for my products, right? These are the things we're going to do over the next couple months. Like maybe we're going to have a tasting party with some of your friends or maybe we're going to drip on social media or sometimes it's just preparing for people for what to say for when they ask, you know? So even when people don't necessarily want to do the business, I'll say something like, you know what, Michelle? I know you don't want to sell isogenics and that's fine, but inevitably you are going to look and feel so much different that people are going to ask you what you're doing, what you're up to. And is it okay if I prepare, prepare you on what to say so that they don't end up going to Amazon? So they get the same support as you. Is it okay if we talk a little bit about maybe how you can direct them to our team pages or introduce them to me so that we can get them the same transformation you're going to get, right? It's just forward thinking, you guys. It's planting those seeds. So that we're setting them up that when they're at work one day and they're drinking a shake and someone's like, oh my gosh, what is that? That they're like, I don't know. I, I don't know. My friend just gave it to me, you know, cause people shut down and they feel like they have to know everything. And so really kind of walking them through that. And the last thing that I kind of want to talk about, and then I'm going to open up, um, Laura is asking, not me. Would you, Jen, Mel, share and do the text you send to people in the first day? I know they have to say. Okay. So, um, Laura, in answer to your question, if you can search the In Dreamers in Action scripts and bump that up, find that photo. Like, I think if you just search In Dreamers, like scripts or templates or something and bump that up, I'll put some in there. I know Jen has some good ones. Um, Melanie does, Renelli does, and then we can add to it there. So it's all in one place. I will definitely do that. Um, the other thing, you guys, that has been so transformational, I believe in our team, thanks to Adam Feichter, and I talked about this on the panel at Super Saturday, is the group message threads. I think that it's really unrealistic sometimes to be getting three-way calls set up. Not everybody's open to it. You know, getting everybody's schedules down, you know, it just can be challenging, but these threads are non-invasive and they're so simple based on the posture you take and the way you set them up. 
to help with people's cleansing experiences. So for example, I have a brand new girl, Kaylee, who's cleansing. She was going to get her box when I was in Mexico. I didn't know what my situation was going to be like in Mexico with service, with anything. And I wanted to make sure she had a good experience. I didn't say, Hey, can I ask, um, would it be okay if I give your number to Jen or would it be okay if I have Laura call you next week while I'm out of town? She'd be like, who are Jen and Laura? Right. But I just put us all in a thread and I was like, Hey guys, Kaylee got her value pack last week. I'm so excited for her to jumpstart her cleanse. I'm headed to Mexico this week. And in case she can't reach me or she has any questions, I want her to have an amazing experience. Kaylee, Jen and Laura are awesome friends of mine. They've coached thousands of people. You're in great hands. We're all here to help you just have a great, you know, kick-ass experience or whatever. And guess what? First cleanse day, like a breeze because we all were plugged into it. Okay. Using these threads right now will help with your retention and development so much. So I have a girl right now who's trying to go consult in. What I say works, that may not relate to her because she's really introverted and I'm really extroverted, but Rachel's in that thread and Rachel has different tips and Rachel can be more compassionate and Rachel can be understanding to those fears because that's something that she experienced. So I want you to think about right now, who are your people and who do they relate to and put them in some group message threads. You know, if they're having an unhappy cleanse experience, Instead of being like, hey, Heather, I know you're really gassy and bloated. Um, maybe I can get you on the phone with my friend Tracy. She was really gassy and bloated. And Heather's going, um, no, I don't really want to talk about my stomach problems to a chick I don't know. Right? Like, she just doesn't. But if I just do it and I say, hey, Heather, I'm so excited to introduce you to Tracy. I'm sorry that you're having, like, a few digestive issues right now, but I know we can help you. You reminded me so much of my friend Tracy. Like, you know, she was like that in the beginning, but she pushed through it. She's having an awesome experience. Like. Tracy, can you share with her a little bit about what you're doing? Like, you know, what worked for you, how you're feeling better? Like, not only is Heather going to relate to her, she's probably not going to return. And she might have a great experience that she goes on to order new things. So I don't want you guys to be afraid of introducing those when it comes to recognition, rank advancing, poor product experiences, enrolling, developing consultants, whatever it may be. Does that make sense? <coughs> so... I'm going to unmute here in just a second or let you guys unmute and ask any questions that you have. But I want you guys as takeaways to really focus on auto ship. Put everybody on auto ship. There's no reason not to. If they're not on auto ship, they're paying more than anybody else, right? It's just about explaining to them how to change it, how to edit it, and literally put people on make a wish. Not only can we grant more wishes, but that way if they do have to remove things out of their cart, they're still going to be technically enrolled on auto ship that if they go in and place a wholesale order, they're still going to get the best pricing possible. So just have that conversation. If you guys need help, if you're enrolling people and saying, I suck at talking about auto ship, ask one of your mentors and leaders to help you. You know, I'd much rather you say, Hey, can you hop on this enrolling call with me and explain auto ship so that I can learn and I can get them set up the right way. If you're doing it on your own and you're struggling with it, use us, I mean, partner with us. Have those conversations about staying active. If you are struggling to reach out or you feel like you're pushing someone to order more, again, mm. leverage us. Just say, hey, you know what? Kisa didn't order 100 BV this month. What do you think I should say? How can I reach out to her to keep her basket order higher? You know, Melanie's amazing at being able to introduce her team to new products. You know, like, ping her. She's more than happy to help. And just say, you know, what is it that you're doing to get your team to order additional stuff? How are you educating them? How are you getting them excited about things outside of the 30-day program? Remember, like I've heard people say, what if the person who enrolled was Kathy Coover, right? Would you cleanse coach her any differently than the random person that messaged you on Facebook? If you could treat every person that you enroll like Kathy Coover, or another way I like to think about it is what if that next person was the next Emily Vavra? What if that next person is the next Susan Sly? What if that person, you know, is the next Lisa DeMeo, the next Jessica Rigner, the next Jani Elo, the next Cindy Hedges? They all started with an amazing product experience. There's probably rock stars in your business right now that you have missed because you didn't coach them, right? There's probably rock stars because we didn't develop them or we didn't really treat them like they were Kathy Coover, like they were the next Susan Sly. When you put on that hat, and you're going to coach every single person as big of a pain in the butt as they may be sometimes, like they could be the next Emily Vaver in the business, you'll see a shift in your retention. You'll see a shift in how they're sharing. 
And just remember, we've got 90 days to get people paid, 90 days to get them to earn $500 to go um, from an eight, you know, 70, 80% retention to a 94% retention. And just use the threads, use your team, you guys. Like we are all, all, all here to help you. We're here to show you, we're here to partner with you. And like Rachel said, she knows she can do better. And I saw her earlier, right? Um, she wishes she could go back to people, you guys. I've enrolled hundreds, hundreds and hundreds of people. And there's so many that I'm like, dang, I really wish I knew differently in the beginning. And I've gone back to some and some I've re-enrolled, you know, and you can go back and be vulnerable. But when I enroll people now and I understand the value of every enrollment, having gone through my warm market, like I'm like white on rice with them the same way that I want them to be successful with the business as I am to make sure they have an amazing cleanse experience. Like you guys can make an obscene amount of money with isogenics, even the single pip, $25. What job pays people $25 an hour? Not very many. If it's a pace setter pack, $50 an hour. If it's a press pack, $80 an hour. If you have two in a week and you start to break them down, okay, of what that is an hour, I mean, I remember when I saw double pivs on two pace setter packs and going, oh my gosh, I have to teach like six thin classes, right? That's six hours of my time. I've never had to spend six hours coaching a single person. So just remember that you're making an obscene amount of money with Isogenics and they are choosing to buy from you. They are choosing to buy from a person and not a storefront that you have an obligation to take care of them, to educate them, to make sure they have a great experience, to tell them things that they don't necessarily know. So that being said, um, you guys are awesome. And I'm excited for the contest. I'm excited to see the retention and the rank advancement. Um, but I want us all to just kind of set those goals. Like look at your average BB and say, what can I do to raise the BB of my team by 25 BB, 50 BB, you know? What can I do to keep people active for longer than 30 days? And if you want questions, reach out. So any questions before we close for tonight? Any thoughts, anything you're unsure about? Yes, Chris, tell him you did something obscene. Such a smart Alec. <laughs> All right, you guys, and nothing, anything? All right. Then y'all better have perfect retention in November and December. Pass this on to your new people, you guys. Good night. I love you. Thank you, Lauren. Bye.